I guess it's going to be time to retire this real board. I really enjoyed this Ben DeGrosse shape that he came out with. It was definitely a really flat board. It was flatter than anything I've actually ever probably rode. But for how flat it is, I did love the nose and tail. It had a great kick. It had a quick response. The nose and tail are a little bit longer, I want to say, than normal. And you can definitely feel the difference. I really only skated this thing in the park, so it really didn't get abused too much. I did learn back nose blunts on this thing, so that's like a plus, I guess. I don't think it was me. I think it was probably the board helping me with that. I would honestly love to ride another real deck, but the skate shop just didn't have any more in stock. I just really liked the Ashad Skate Shop Day board I had. It just had a really good concave. It had that really short wheelbase and also just big nose and tail. I had another homie who didn't get to ride this board and he did mention he wanted to try it out. So before this board is like completely toast, I wanted to give it to him. Like I said, I didn't really skate too much street with it, so it is in decent condition. I mean, she definitely still has some pop left, but for me, I think it's time to pass it on. If you do like a flatter board, I really highly suggest you try to get your hands on this. You'll definitely really enjoy it. I mean, even if you like a lot of concave, I think it's also a great board just to try because you never know. It might surprise you with some tricks and it might work really well for you. Anyways, enough talking about this right now. I think I'm also going to be retiring the dunks I've been skating. I've been skating these, uh, I don't even know, like the deep sea, like royal blue, some, I don't even know what the colorway was called, or I forgot the, even the fancy name of these, but I did just blow through kind of right there. I was ripping my sock last session, so it's kind of over that. I mean, I could shugu and fix it, but I do have another pair that I've been kind of just wearing around. I broke these in a little bit, just been walking around in them. It's pretty much the reverse colorway of this. You can kind of tell it's like the opposite, which is kind of fun. Since this is so dark, I was like, this is kind of fun and bright. So I was like, this might be the next go-to. It's already kind of getting scuffed up from just like walking around, which is funny. But since these are broken in, I feel like I should just skate these. And I do like the green swoosh because it does match my new board. I picked this board up like probably a month ago, honestly, kind of maybe, I think I got it before this real deck, actually. I just never set it up. It's a pretty cool uh, Guy Mariano, Mark Gonzalez graphic. It's also an 825. I believe it's probably like 32 and a quarter. We'll measure it. Uh, and I think the wheelbase was 14, and that's the reason why I got it. It's been really hard to honestly find anything smaller than a 14-inch wheelbase. Yeah, it's honestly really hard to find anything smaller than that 14-inch wheelbase. But the 14 has really been working well for me. It just pops really good. It's super responsive. It turns really quick. So I don't know. It just really works for me right now. It really comes down to what tricks you're doing. I think that's when wheelbase will really affect you. Since I'm doing a lot of flip tricks right now and popping my board. Having that short wheelbase is really helping me. I am curious to see how similar and how different this board is. So let's hold this thing up next to each other. So I believe the real board was an exact 32. And I feel like... This board is pretty much also a 32. They're like, I mean, maybe 32 and a quarter just because it's like a tiny bit bigger. But you can already kind of see, look at that concave difference. I don't know how close I am to the camera, but you can see on the April board, there's a lot of concave right here. On that real deck, there's nothing. It's just like straight flat there. It's pretty crazy to see the difference. This board so far is pretty similar besides the concave. They're both A25. They're both about 32 inches. They're both a 14 inch wheelbase, but you know, I do want to actually measure the nose and tail. I am curious about that. And it's like seven and a quarter right there. So how big is this nose? Okay, so this nose is already is a little bit smaller. And how about this tail? Because that tail was like, almost like a true seven inch tail right there. Okay, the tails are actually kind of similar in length, but the noses are a little bit different. The April nose is actually a little bit smaller. I feel like even when I'm looking at the hardware next to each other, def I mean, it's almost the same, honestly. It's really not that much of a difference. Even the shape of, okay, the shape of this is a little bit rounder, where I feel like the shape of this is a little bit more like shovel-nosy kind of. Not shovel-nosy, but a little bit more square than this one. Still a nice size nose, though. So let's set this bad boy up. Oh, I'm also going to just be throwing another pair of the 48 millimeter boardy cakes on these. The Duro's 99. These are pretty wide, actually, for small wheels. I think that's the reason why I like them. 
the shape of them is just really nice. It's like even the shape's kind of nostalgic as well, but they're wide and they kind of cover the nut of the board. So when you're doing slappies or if like you're landing primo or whatever, you're not going to really like mess up the nut or the axle. So I feel like that's another reason why I like this wheel a lot. I've been skating this thing a ton on us, or these wheels a lot, really. I do wish these wheels were a little bit harder. I do like 100 or even 101. I used to skate 103, and honestly, like, that slides so good. But realistically, probably 100, 101 is, like, the happy place for me. But 99's been working. I'm not going to lie. I just feel like with slide tricks, it doesn't slide the best. First off, we're going to just be taking off the trucks. I'm going to continue riding these hollow independents. These are hollow 149s. And the reason why I like the 149 so much on the 825 is just kind of having more truck. The more truck kind of just works for me because I do a lot of feebles, a lot of hurricane grinds, a lot of crooked grinds. And so having the bigger truck, just I have more contact to like the rail or ledge. So the bigger truck, it just works for me. I can also scale up my board a little bit with these trucks. I can go all the way pretty much to an eight and a half. So it's another reason why I guess I'm keeping these trucks around. I've been really liking the hollows. I do feel like they are a little bit lighter than my inverted kingpins. And I actually haven't really noticed any hangups or anything super major. But also not enough for me to go back. Because I'm still going to set these things up. They're like brand new still and they broke in really nice. I just really tightened them. I think I think I literally only, no, I did one full crank on them. And that's all I did. Otherwise, then they're pretty stock. And they definitely get tighter than the inverted kingpin I noticed because my inverted kingpins never really got very tight. So that's like another reason why I really like these. All right, I'm going to finish taking off my trucks and then maybe I'll take off my rails and then we're going to move to the board. I guess we'll have to grip it. There's a lot of things we got to still do. All right, I'm just going to, okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is so random. I'm going to just talk about it right now. So I randomly got this like Modus uh, Allen key hardware. I don't think I've ever used Allen key. Maybe when I was younger, I got a set of Allen, but I have no idea the last time I used it. And no joke, it never got loose. I don't know if it's just because it's new hardware, but they never loosened up. I feel like whenever I have like the OG Phillips ones, they always loosen up after a while. So I don't know if it's the Allen key or if that's actually making a difference. I just wanted to point that out. The drill battery just died, so I'm charging that right now. So I guess we're going to open this thing up. <laughs> of course that happens, right? Whoa, what is this weird, like, clear sticker right here? I don't like that. What is that? It's, it gives me, like, the new era hat, like, sticker vibe right there. What does it say? Oh, it just says BBS. I see Maple 7 Ply. Okay. <laughs> well, if you were wondering, April boards are BBS, or at least this one is. <laughs> I really hate taking these little warning stickers off. Oh, man. Or is it bad luck, I've heard. But... I think on your grip tape, you can kind of see it if you leave it. I love how there's a graphic even on the um, the top right here. The graphic here and up here. I mean, I usually don't do a big cutout, but I feel like that would be acceptable right there. <laughs> I am looking forward to like riding one of these, you know, I'll feel like Shane O'Neill, I'll feel like Udo or something, you know, I like how this graphic is like a natural like stain too. Which makes it kind of nice. I don't know. I, I really like that. It feels really light too. I don't know if this like glossy stuff makes it heavier. Like that sparkle stuff makes it heavier. But like this board already feels way lighter. I mean, yeah, there's no rails on it, but it does feel lighter. Anyways, we got some pepper grip. You already know. I'm the salt to that pepper. Maybe one of these days pepper will actually send me grip tape. You know, I would love that. Just saying. Just, just putting it out there. Just letting you all know for a friend. If anyone's got the connection, you know, just saying. Uh, I've been really honestly really enjoying Pepper Grip Tape. I just feel like it's a great in between Jessup and Mob. I was never like Jessup was ne never really stayed grippy for me. And Mob was always like kind of just too grippy. I feel like not too grippy, but like it just like just I mean, yeah, I guess Pepper stills like grippy and rips up your shoes. But Mob is like a whole other level of that. And I feel like Mob Grip, the last few sheets I've had of that, it was like very like thin and like kind of, it was just thin and felt very breakable. I don't know. Silver Tools got the little like file. Oh, that's nice. Oh. 
it's so funny when i used to work at ccs i swear a manager like when you even got interviewed you had to be able to set up a board in seven minutes or something like that it was kind of crazy <laughs> i swear during the holiday though like it did get kind of crazy anyways this will be really nice if i can get like a nice fresh straight cut i remember when I was younger and saw like all the people, like the older dudes at the skate shop just gripping boards, I was like, wow, they're so good at that. Like they've done that so many times. I might have reached that point. I was like, damn, if I mess up gripping right now, mm, I walk myself right into it. <laughs> Does it, I mean, I don't know. Do you guys like cut it in sections? I feel like a lot of people will cut like the four slits and then do like, you know, the sides, the nose, and then the tail or whatever. Or do you all just send it like full, like this? Or am I the only one? Oh, I was honestly getting a little nervous at the end. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so normally I would take this and rub it all around, but I don't really want to make too much more of a mess inside here, so I'm not going to do that. I need a little garbage can. I mean, I guess I could start putting on my trucks. Yeah, let's do that. Since that battery is still charging, we can do that. But yeah, nice and gripped up. I was like, maybe, do I want to throw stickers on this? Mmm, I might go grab a few stickers. I'll be right back. I'm definitely throwing this pepper one on. Dang, it looks so fresh too. Okay. Okay, pepper's on. I think I'm going to throw this row street like underneath it maybe. I think I'm performing like skateboard surgery right here. See how this came out? Chill, chill, chill. That's what that looks like so far. I'm thinking we just throw the SB stick and maybe a little higher up. Okay, there we go. Because I'm going to put the rails on, so hopefully I got everything in the middle. We'll see. <laughs> Is there other... Oh, I was trying to look for other hardware. I thought I left the box in here, but I don't think I did. I don't know if I really like these blue screws on my green board, but whatever. I guess it'll match my shoes, huh? The green and the blue. There's like barely a crook groove. Like I barely, I should do, I should have a good proper like slappy session to like get some groove into these trucks because there are no grooves. These are anti-groove trucks. Whoa, that screw got so messed up. Definitely got some board slides on that screw. Damn, that thing is so gnarly. Can y'all see that? That looks so crazy. All right, I'm going to put my trucks on. I'm going to get both of them done, actually, and then um, we'll get into the wheels, I guess, after. All right, just got both the trucks on, and this thing is like, it, I, I don't know why it feels so light. It's pretty nice. It's kind of fun to try a new brand out, which also kind of brings me into shoes really quick. I know I have another pair of Dunks to skate, but like, what other shoes are you guys skating? I tried some New Balances. I tried the Tiagos. I did like those, but I just overall just felt like, for me, I just didn't like how they looked on me, honestly. They felt great, though. Another shoe I've been considering, again, is just the OG SXLs. Just because it's almost like a dunk. It's like the S dunk. And I used to skate that shoe a ton when I was a kid. I just remember it being really good. So I was maybe considering picking those up. But I also really wouldn't mind trying DC Links. Like, the OG Links are so hard to find. Not the... Um, I know they have the links that are like the slim version, but like, I don't want those. I want like the OG ones with like the thick sole. I think the last time I skated those two was probably when I was like 12 years old. So it'd also be cool to skate those again. But that's like just, I feel like those are just brands just because like nostalgic vibe. But I don't know. Is there something else that like I'm missing or sleeping on? I don't know. Let me know. Otherwise, then we're going to work our way onto the wheels right now. And so I'm going to just be, like I said, I'm skating the same wheel. The only thing that I wanted to mention was that I am skating the bones. I think they're just like the big balls. So they're not reds. So they're like the blue ones. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not break. Like I haven't broke a bearing in a while. I think it's just because I'm not skating curbs as much. Because when you slappy curbs, you're like hitting that wheel into that curb way more than you normally do. So I was definitely blowing through bearings way faster. So after just kind of riding these for a while, I can definitely say they're not faster than reds, but they are way smoother than reds. Because like these honestly feel like, these honestly kind of feel like you're riding a Swiss bearing. Like it's just really smooth, but it's not like the fastest bearing, but I, I really like them so far. 
So I know a few people have asked me a few questions about these bearings, and do, so far I do like them. I felt like they were honestly a little bit slow at first. They honestly felt like they were um, like too too oily or something. But after the like few weeks, I've been skating them now for a month, and they feel great. So and they haven't broken on me either, and they all spin really good still. So that's a great sign. But like I was saying, I'm just gonna switch these out to these. I didn't really, it's funny actually, these are the second set of wheels I set up during that reel board. My first set of these, I ended up getting flat spotted. I was doing back nose blunts somewhere else. And for some reason, wherever I was doing it, that material just like stuck and it was way more gritty. So I flattened my wheels pretty quick. So these were just like kind of like the backup wheel. So I'm thinking I'm gonna set up brand new wheels and then if I do flat these, I have semi new ones that I can use as backup. So that's what I'm doing right now. I think that's like, that's my theory behind setting up the new wheels right now. Cause like these other ones are still pretty clean. They're still pretty good. But just in case I do flat one of these, I got backup. That's all I'm, that's like, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, I forget. I can't press wheels on this table because I'll probably break the table. Maybe I'll just take this one off and then we'll, then I'll go to the ground and I'll push these bearings in. I feel like you guys don't need to watch me push bearings and it's not too exciting. The drill battery is still charging, but I do want to mark the area on my board where the rails are going to go. I think this is always a question, so I'm always going to just say it and bring it up again. The closer you ride your rails in, the easier it's going to be to do like those tilt tricks, like tilting to feeble or hurricane or whatever. The further your rail is out, it's just going to be easier to grab your board. It's not going to make it easier to tilt. If your rail's all the way at the edge of your board and you're trying to tilt back, there's no board for it to rest on, if that makes sense. So I ride my rails literally like two inches in. The rail is at the two inch mark. So I guess really it's probably sitting at like an inch and three quarters or something like that. So right now I'm just going literally to the middle of my board. I'm gonna make, a, I, mean, I need to find an area I can see. All right, there's the two inches right there tape i used really stuck oh man that's really what i used that 3m stuff wow that worked pretty good then that worked though way better than i thought okay i need to go get more of that stuff i had all of these pieces cut out but i forgot this is what i used last time so i'm gonna definitely use these again it clearly works so i'm gonna i think i put three on each side it really helped with the rattling on the rails they never did that so that really definitely helped so was, i'm gonna definitely do that again so I wanted to point out, we're just riding some OG pig rails, nothing special. I honestly like how thin they are. I mean, just even to keep things lighter, as silly as that sounds. I used to like the really big, thick rails, but now that, you know, I'm kind of street skating a little bit more, I kind of like the thinner rail. It just has been working a little bit better for me. And with the little rail right now, since I'm not grinding as many curbs or sliding on as many curbs, the rails are actually lasting me a lot longer because now I'm usually doing all of my curb combo tricks on rails. So like actual flat bars and stuff like that. So like these things are still so new from my last setup. That's crazy because usually when I skate curbs, these things get destroyed so fast. All right. So let's do this side first. All right, we just got the rails all done and the board's looking pretty chill. I'm pretty hyped on how it came out. It still feels really light, I feel. Maybe I'm just tripping, but yeah, comment, let me know what you guys are skating right now. And I just can't wait to break in this board.